The Immortal John Hancock, and today I'm taking the opportunity to look at some games I've never played that have been in my collection. Today's video is going to focus on all the PlayStation 1 Barbie games. That's right. There's actually five different Barbie games made for the original PlayStation. And in today's video, I'm going to be looking at each individual game and giving an overview. So sit back, relax, and I hope you enjoy the video. Barbie Race and Ride features the Barbie toy line in which you get to race and ride along several tracks as well as play several mini games along the pathways. You choose your outfit at the beginning of the game and you get to choose one of four different horses. So this is part of Mattel's Software for Girls line. I named my horse Tulip. In the stall, you can wash and groom your horse. This might be a game for kids that like animals, especially horses. You can also feed your horse various healthy treats, carrots, apples. Then you go to the track. You do have to do the riding lesson first. Now, the biggest issue with this game is the pre-rendered graphics. And so it just isn't very believable, but it does have simple control, which is easy for kids. You essentially you can press one button to jump, going left or right on tracks with various backgrounds. Now, throughout the tracks, you can explore animals. You get off your horse and interact with different scenes. There's also these mini games. You can also bypass these events and just race the course. There's also a two player option where it goes to a side scroller where you can race your friends or race the computer. While I found this game easy to control and it might appeal to kids who are into horses, there are probably several other options that are better today. The other game released at the end of 1999 was Barbie Super Sports. And this essentially is a two pack in which you can do inline skating and snowboarding. You can choose various outfits and choose the color of your snowboard. There are some simple tracks, four tracks on the snowboarding in which you're collecting various things. You can race a friend or against the computer down a ski slope. The control is simple. Again, the graphics, while they are 3D and better than Race and Ride, are, are pretty primitive, but it's an easy game for kids to control. The tracks are easy to understand. I probably would choose a better snowboarding game than this one, though, as there's many out there that are better. But if your kid is into Barbie, this might be an option. The other game is inline skating. Same thing, you get to choose an outfit and you skate around to various different areas in which you collect tickets. Now the tickets can be used in the store to unlock different equipment. There are three areas that you have access to. The goal is to complete the goals of each area to get a key. Once you get all three keys, you can unlock the final part of the inline skating. I think my biggest issue with this game is that there are several other options on the original PlayStation that offered various extreme sports that were just done better. This is not a terrible game. I think it's an easy, simplistic game for kids, but I would choose something else. Detective Barbie the Mystery Cruise was part of a trilogy of games. The first two were offered on PC only, in which you're trying to catch the Tropical Island Art Thief. And so you are to search aboard a cruise ship, interviewing people, looking for clues, using your high technology items. And I thought the voice acting was pretty bad and funny. What I did like about this game is that it's different every time you play. Now, once you go through, you search for clues using one of three items. Your infrared lipstick, 
compact and makeup brush Hello. or your cell phone fingerprint oh, scanner. This game is fairly slow paced, but that. if you're into you detective games, this might be a game for you though. I do think this might be a little bit challenging for younger kids, but if you're into these type of games and you like Barbie, this might be this one of the Barbie games to check out on PlayStation. Now, there are various side games that you can play in the game or from the menu. There's a jet ski game. I did not like this game whatsoever, but it is you know fairly short. It's just kind of like a an add-on, and I think they realized that. There's also an air racing game in which you can race friends. I didn't like this game either. I thought it was fairly short and not that fun to control or play. I don't know why they included shuffleboard of the three side games it definitely was my least favorite to play while some reviews have compared barbie explorer to a tomb raider game i disagree it's more like a crash bandicoot clone and honestly it's not too bad now there's a vr training session which i recommend if you're going to play this game play this first as it will help you with the controls controls are a little bit touchy there's four different locations with various stages on each location. And so you have to go around, you're collecting jewels and you're avoiding pitfalls as well as grabbing various items, dodging and jumping pits. The platform jumping can be a little touchy, but they give you a gratuity of chances to complete each stage. So I found that to be good if you're a fan of Crash Bandicoot style games and like Barbie. This is not terrible. I found the levels to be kind of a more traditional PlayStation style game. And so, you know, the graphics aren't too bad. You know, this is a late release, 2001. You know, by then, you know, PlayStation had been around for several years. And it wasn't too bad. You know, I, I played the, the levels are actually fairly long, a little boring. But there was some hidden secrets for every level. Uh, there's several gems that you have to collect. And I, I didn't find all the hidden secrets in the first stage. And then, you know, each stage gets progressively more difficult. There is a two-player mode in this game in which players go through a level alternating turns when they die. If you're looking for an oddity for a game tournament, you may want to choose this. Gotta Have Games was the last game release for the original PlayStation where you can play against the computer or a second player. It's a collection of eight different mini games. Some good, some meh. First up is Fruit Fallout. It's kind of a match three clone. I found this game to be okay. Kind of generic, but functional. A game that I could see some people getting into. Next up, Four Scoops plays like Connect Four. Then you have DJ Booth, which plays like a memory match game. There's also some special abilities, Wild, Jinx, and Mix that you can find playing this game. I thought it was okay for kids. Gems and Jewels was a match four in which you can win eight different ways. Choosing the different shape or color, you can win by matching all four up with likeness. Then there's Daisy Derby. I was disappointed to see that it wasn't like a traditional carnival game. You have to discover the correct word. And then there's Bubble Machine, which is probably my favorite of all these mini games. And it plays like a bust a move clone. Uh, not too bad, very generic, but not too bad. Probably one of the better games. And then you have Groove and Move at the Disco. It's a simple Simon style game in which you're following the computer's movement. I didn't like this game too much. Next, there was Conga Line, which is pretty much a generic snake. Not too bad. I actually found myself playing this one a little bit. I haven't played a traditional snake style game in a while. So, you know, it could have been a lot worse. So there you have it. All five PlayStation 1 Barbie games. Did you grow up with any of these? Have you played any of these? Comment below as I would love to hear from you. 
as always, I'm trying to send positivity to you. Thank you for the ongoing support. Wishing you nothing but safety and wellness during this time of uncertainty. Thank you for all the ongoing support. Hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. This is the Immortal John Hancock. Please be well. You take care.